All right, this is Brother Aisha Yard coming back at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to all of you brothers and elders out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And today I want to get into a topic talking about Esau will fall by his own hands. Because, uh, uh, pretty much, man, this coronavirus, this COVID-19 thing is going to be the lead to them ultimately falling. And this is what they created. You know, they created this COVID so they can usher in their new world order. You know, uh, that's why they had all of these uh, troops getting ready for martial law come in early this year. You know, they got all the FEMA camps are starting to be established or they've been established, you know. Uh, people waking up to the, these places being turned into FEMA camps, you know. Um, uh, now this new story this, that just came out today, another Jake dying of, by the hands of a, of a police officer, which is Esau, another white man, you know. He just died, you know. Uh, they said uh, the police had his knee against the, 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 um, the man's neck, you know. And uh, he was screaming that he couldn't breathe. And the the cop didn't let up. So after a while, man, uh, Jake died again by the hands of Esau, you know. And this is why you about to go down, man. These race riots are about to happen very soon, man. Very soon. Jake is about to get fed up, man. He's already there, man. He's already there. It tells you in the scriptures, man. We like a couch and a lion, man. Who's going to rouse him up? Genesis 49, man. Who's going to rouse him up? You are. You are. Ultimately, it's the most high doing everything for his will, doing everything for fulfilled prophecy. But who's going to rouse him up, though? You are, Esau. You're going to make, you're going to get Jake to uh, finally get his hands around your neck, man. That's going to happen on this side and on the other side. You know, and everything that you're doing, man, you ultimately killing yourself. You're committing spiritual suicide and physical suicide, man, because everything that you're doing is going is, is leading to your downfall. That's why I want to bring this out today, because, man, because uh, uh, because this is exactly what's happening. This is exactly what's happening, man. Everything that you're doing, you're doing it to try to overcome the most high. Like a dumbass. But ultimately, man, it's going to lead to your downfall. It's going to lead to your death, man. And, and then it's going to lead to you going to slavery. These race riots is about to happen, man. You over here locking down the cities, reopening. You see, now you're getting to the point where you're trying to reopen. But even though um, you're, you're so-called reopening in the cities, you're still saying in the back of your mind things will never get back to normal until there's a vaccine. And everybody knows that vaccine will ultimately lead to the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. So and once that happened, man, hey, it's curtains for you. It's curtains for you, man. It's over with. It's a done deal. Everything that you're doing is going to lead to you becoming the ultimate slave for a thousand years. And then after that thousand years, man, you're being thrown to the pit. And you will never come back, man. We straight up extinct, exterminating all of you Edomites, man. And you know, and, and, <laughs> you know this is this is crazy, man. You know, this and, P, and Jake still want to believe in this system, man. Jake still want to believe in this in this uh in this government, this world. Doesn't make no sense, man. Still coming out with these 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 articles, these these news. You see these videos of us still getting killed. Because we still under the curses. And Jay still want to believe in this man. But everything that he's doing, like I said, is leading to you ultimately going down and America being destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Okay? So let's get right to the scriptures, man. You know, get Psalms 9 and 15. And this is the scripture that inspired me to do this lesson or put this lesson together <clears throat> 9 and 15 it says this is Psalms 9 and 15 it says the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made 
and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. There you go. Like I said, ultimately it's the most high, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, doing the will, fulfilling prophecy, using you to bring this place down and using you to rouse up Jake. And then once uh, the Most High uses us to get roused up, he's going to use us to punish you, man. So everything that you're doing is for your, it's, it's for our own good and for yours, man. <laughs> because if you keep going, man, this place will continue to get more and more wicked every day. Every day. Because you're never satisfied, man. You want to bring the place down to 500 million people, according to the Georgia Guidestones which is wicked. The most I told you to be fruitful. You want to, you want to do that. But if you, even if you accomplish that, you'll still, you'll be like, well, this is still too much. You will kill everybody till there's only probably 10 people left. And even then you'll be like, we'll still fight against each other. Then <laughs> you'll still be divided. Then man, you won't be satisfied till there's no human beings left on earth, man. But like it says right here, the Lord is known. I'm, I'm sorry. It's like you. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. You created this. You created this coronavirus. You created all of this chaos that's going on, man. You the one that's making it get to the point where, where there's going to be a famine. You the one that's making it where thousands of people are dying. You did this. And your own people are uh, are, 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 are dying, are uh, suffering because of you. Because of you. You got the rich fleeing out of the U.S. and they going back to Europe because they know this place is going down. They don't want to be a part of it. Is that not a, a, a sign or an action saying that uh, they don't want to fall in the pit that they made? <laughs> let's go to let's go to uh, let's go to Matthew twelve and twenty five. And this is Yahushua speaking. It says, And Yahushua knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How, how shall then his kingdom stand? Which I, ex -con, which I just said. Which I just said. You fighting against your own people. You got America, then you got Europe. And you all ultimately are Edomites, man. You know, you, you claim that these are different nations, but you are all Edomites and you're fighting against yourself. You are Satan. You are the devil. And you're divided against yourself, man. Even here in America, America is divided against himself, itself. Trump gives out an order and everything like that. And what happens? Uh, governors or mayors, they be like, no. Kind of like uh, now, you know, Trump like, okay, we can uh, start reopening cities. Then well, um, the, what, uh, the mayor of Chicago, what does she say? Oh, no, no, no. We don't care what uh, Trump says. We're not uh, reopening anything on May 29th. We're going to wait until a little bit in June because we're not ready yet. That's a kingdom divided against itself. It's not going to stand, man. It's not going to stand. And then if you want to get even lower, if you want to get even lower, I'm going to protest, man. People out here protesting and everything, were, uh, and they're armed. You got guns and everything, walking in, in subway sandwich shops with guns on their back, man. These are your people doing this, man. If Jake would have did this, the same thing would have happened just like to the brother today who had got, who, uh, who got murdered because of the neck, uh, the, the knee in the back of his neck. Only we only the, only the difference is, man, probably would have been even a, a, a more of a slaughter, man. Jake ain't supposed to even supposed to be out here anyway protesting to uh, get this place back open, man. If you was a real one, man, you'll be like, hey, man, close this place down and keep it closed. Let's move forward to this destruction. Let's get it popping, man. You know? Because we getting tired, man. We getting tired of being here. Jake is getting tired of you, Esau. Okay? And it's like I said, it's going to come to them times, man. These race riots is about to happen, man. These race riots are about to happen. You're about to see Esau start dropping. Esau's about to start dropping, man. 
You already got certain jakes out here walking around with their own guns, walking around the uh 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 the killer of um I can forget his name that killed Amon, walking around his a uh, neighborhood, his house, armed. They they over here they over they over here over over there wishing that somebody would do something to them. And now we seeing it again. Jake is man. <laughs> you better get ready, Esau. Cause like 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 this, like I said in Psalms 9 and 15, you built this pit and you gonna fall by your own hands, man. Cause you the one that's doing this shit. Okay? So now let's jump to Isaiah. Nineteen and two. I start from one. It says the burden. This is Isaiah nineteen and one. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. America is spiritually new Egypt, man. It tells you in Deuteronomy twenty-eight that the uh, that um, Yahweh was going to bring us into a new land with ships. And um, he told us he's gonna bring up, bring us into Egypt again. So uh, when you think about that, man, who, wh what people did that happen to, and what land are we living in now? America, America is spiritually Egypt, and America is spiritually Rome because America's America uh, uh, moves out, out of off of a lot of the customs that Rome, ancient Rome, did. You know. That's why when you uh you go to uh get classrooms and uh you you uh go to certain places or whatever, they teach you Roman numerals and everything like that. You know, you go look at these buildings with the pillars and everything, tall pillars, just like Rome. They're spiritually Rome and spiritually Egypt, because this is a place of bondage, man. Just because physical slavery is over doesn't doesn't mean that we're still that we're not a slave, man. We're still a slave. We got to go to work every day. We got a social security number and we're a slave in the mind now. You know, the media, the music, these movies got Jake, you know, in a whole nother uh, mind state, mindset, man. Jake is gone because of what you gave him, Esau. And what you gave your own people because your own people watch and uh, lives in, in this society as well. Like I said again, you shall fall in a, on a pit, and you shall fall in the pit that you made, okay? And now we get to verse 2, and it says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. All right, there it is right there. Egyptian against Egyptian, city against city, brother against brother, kingdom against kingdom, a place that's divided. The more and more that this place goes on, man, the more and more it's going to get divided. It already was, but it's definitely about to get divided now, man. You're not going to see, you know, uh, so-called blacks chilling with whites anymore. It's going to really be divided. It's going to be a group of people, man. Everybody's going to choose a side soon. It's going to get ugly out here, man. It's going to get ugly out here. So let's jump to the next one. Hey, uh, jump down to verse 14. And it says, The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. <laughs> See? You, over, you, 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 you uh, gave... Jake and the rest of this world so much wine slash philosophies that even you drunk of your own shit. You drunk your own, you drink your own wine and you drunk by your own philosophies. You drunk by your own ways of life. And now you staggering and you about to fall in your own vomit. You fall into the pit that you made by your hands. You, you, you the one that's doing all of this, man. You the one that's doing all of this. Because like I said, you over here killing Jake. What you think is going to happen after a while if you keep killing Jake? Jake is going to start killing you. I told one of my cousins that, man. 
you know, he over here, oh man, you know, I can't believe this is still going on or whatever. This is sickening. Even during a, a pandemic, we still got to go through this. I'm like, is we still under the curses, man? This is supposed to happen to us. And I told him, I'm like, this is going to continue to happen until Jake start retaliating. And that's going to happen soon. Jake is going to start retaliating. I'm like, look, watch. I'm like, man, sooner or later, you're going to start seeing a lot of news reports about uh, white people getting dropped, man. That's going to happen soon. And it's going and it's not going to happen to certain certain Edomites, man. It's going to happen to just random Edomites. Random ones, man. It's not going to, like I said, it ain't going to go for somebody in, in power or anything like that. It is literally just going to be, hey, look, <laughs> we finna just go outside and just start clapping Edomites everywhere, man. <laughs> you know? That's, that's going to start happening, man. And like I said, Esau, you the one that created this. So hey, enjoy your 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 uh your work. <laughs> enjoy enjoy your work. So let's jump to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it says, uh, let's say, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Uh, I'll start at 10 so it can sound, it can get a little bit more understanding. To whom you forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forget, forgave anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave it in the person of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, we're not ignorant of, of your devices, man. We're not ignorant of the world that you have created. We see what's going on, man. You see what's going on, but you're still blinded by your own work. You're still blinded by your own wickedness. You've done so much wickedness and told so many lies, you don't know which way to go anymore. Should I follow this lie? Should I follow that lie? And you know, you set up, you don't want to set up the internet too. You set up the internet, and now your own device is uh, exposing you. Your own device is exposing you, and not just by us either. Your own people is exposing you, telling, warning people about upcoming famines, warning people about the troops, warning people about cities being shut down. You know? We're not ignorant of your devices, man. We see right through you. We see right through you, because you the devil. You the devil, man. You don't trust a devil. You run away from the devil, man. You don't want to be nowhere a part of it. <laughs> you know? You stay away from it, man. We're not ignorant of your devices, man. We see what's going on, and we're going to keep our faith and fear in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. We're going to wait for him to come back, and then we're going to fuck you up, man. So we're going to get, uh, we just going to jump straight to, uh, we're going to go to Obadiah. Um, bear me real quick. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Obadiah 3. It says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Who shall bring me down to the ground? That's your pride, man. Because you're doing all of this and you're thinking that your new war order is going to be established. And you thinking that you got so much power because of your military, because of your technology, oh, excuse me, because of the money that you have. You know, you're thinking that nobody sees what you're doing. Nobody sees your wickedness and nobody can bring you down, man, because you have all of this power. But, hey, got an answer for that. Who shall bring you down to the ground? Verse 15, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. The Most High is going to bring you down. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to bring you down, man. Yahweh Shah is going to come back with the angels, and they're going to fuck this place up, man. They're going to fuck this place up along with the elect, man. 
the elect and Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to fuck this place up, man. Your own reward shall return upon your head. The things that you have done, man, is going to return upon your head, man. You the one that did this. You the one that did this. You the one that set all of this stuff up, man. And everything that you're doing is about to return double. It's about to return double, man. It's over with for you. So enjoy yourself, man. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Keep uh, bringing them wickedness. It's a beautiful thing. Because the more you do it, the more that, that we know that we are about to get up out of here, man. And that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. Just talking about my woman the other day. Like, man, we can't even uh, uh, imagine what clean air tastes like, feel like. You know, when you inhale it, what does that feel like? The air is polluted. The land is polluted. Your people are nasty. You know, you know what I'm saying? People crown the beaches and everything and all of that. Parks. And then when they leave the parks, it's this, it's this garbage everywhere, man. People don't People don't respect anything. There's garbage everywhere. People don't pick up their garbage and throw it away in the trash cans. They just leave it on the ground, polluting the rivers, polluting, polluting the, uh, every land. Everywhere that you go, man, you 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 destroy. You destroy. Animals are being extinct. <laughs> you just you just gotta go, man. You just gotta go, and you will. You will fall in the pit that you made, Esau. You will. So, brothers, man, hey, endure. We almost out of here, man. We almost out of here. So, with that, I'm going to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Bakakwadash, double honest to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honest to all you brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Aquaf that's listening and learning. And Lord willing, I'll be back at you with another lesson. Shalom.